Any performer that you ever meet will say the same thing. We're addicted to that rush. Five minutes in the ring for all the 20,000 hours of work we do outside of it. <laughs> We've put 10 years into this show. Realistically, to do this, you're looking at about $10 million. We didn't have $10 million, closer to $10, but we had a lot of horses. So we started building it from the ground up. We started with just building one act after another that we could actually perform ourselves in one place or another and getting, just trying to build a name up and meet lots of people and put the idea out there. So the first show that we've actually done with Gladius started in Denver and then after that we had to break because we weren't ahead financially with it. So we came to Austin to regroup and kind of partner with a new investor. So this is actually our second city only with the full run of Gladius. The struggle is really immense. The way that we come across to the public is, you know, put together and the reality of it is something people wouldn't really guess about us, is it's just two of us investing every single thing that we have to try to create something that's going to eventually take off. You're calculating, okay, I have to go do this and that and that, and I have so much fuel in the tank, and so we're definitely on the one end living very poorly. Been living like that with an outhouse and uh, just dirt and bugs everywhere so it's pretty challenging so you really have to like what we're doing here in order to live in that conditions for four months. The seven o'clock warrior who shall deliver the gladius form to the next chapter of existence. Thus our story begins. Our story of gladius. You kind of have like an obligation to fulfill a calling and until your body breaks or until, your body, until you break your body, then you have to do it until it's over. There's no niche that we can go get a nine to five doing this job, so we just have to blaze trails and make it happen as it will. <laughs> this isn't a job that you do because you need to make money. This is a job you do because that is your high people in the show are like family and there's a closeness and an intimacy with them and you wanted to see it succeed and for some reason the people that have attached themselves to the show and to the horses have like given up everything they possibly can to see the success of this show. Being a part of that feels right. <laughs>